Singapore. We brought an F1 actual helmet. We gotta see what's inside of it. These things are legit. It's not like a NASCAR helmet or like a bike helmet. Because these guys are driving hundreds of miles an hour. Their heads are sticking out of the actual car. It's super dangerous. If you watch some of the wreck videos on YouTube, they will have a car that will go over the top of them. So this thing's extremely light, but it's aerodynamic, it's carbon fiber, and it's made just for these racers to keep them safe. We're going to watch the race for a few hours tonight. It's actually one of the practice rounds, and then we're gonna come back every single night until Sunday with the actual competition. So we're gonna give you some shots of the practice rounds here. We won't show the actual race. I've never seen F1 racing in person like I haven't before an hour ago. I highly recommend it. It's ridiculously amazing. Wrapped up for the night. It's been a blast. Um, time to head back, get Lincoln to bed. They didn't have a boat for another hour, so they just grabbed this guy. Hi. back in America from Singapore, the trip was incredible. The crowd was impressive, they knew what was going on, they were cheering for the race drivers. We didn't know what was going on. We really We just didn't. liked the cars going super fast, it looked really cool. So we filmed a lot while we were there. We did a couple of live streams that are on our second channel, which we'll put a link in the description. First hard helmets that were created and were mandatory for F1 racing was in 1950. But what I thought was interesting is that NASCAR, where their head's not out of the car, they didn't require full face helmets until 2001 after Earnhardt died. And so they do some crazy testing with this. They'll shoot metal pieces at this at 500 kilometers an hour and they can't make very big holes in it for it to even be certified. Back in 2009, there was a driver that was cruising along, a spring fell off of the car in front of him, it hit his visor at 160 miles an hour, and it went through the visor, hit his head, and caused serious head injuries. The heat test that they do on this is pretty ridiculous. They take this helmet and they put it in an 800 degree Celsius flame, and inside of the helmet can't exceed 70 degrees of heat. There's one tool that I needed that I could not find in Singapore anywhere, so we didn't cut the helmet open. Lincoln, what's the tool? A sledgehammer. A giant sledgehammer. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> if this thing is supposed to be so strong, I'm gonna hit it with the sledgehammer right on top, on concrete, and see if we can crack it open. Sledgehammer time first. Hammer time. You work? Didn't crack it. Wow, nothing. It bent in a little bit, but it didn't do anything. Man, that thing is tough. The ultimate sledgehammer hit. Ah! Ah! The plastic thing's coming off the top. I dented it. Ouch. That would hurt if that was a driver. Well, what the heck, Lincoln? I'm doing another one. Scratch the bottom, crack that part. This is too much fun. I probably shouldn't tell you how much this thing costs. Ah! Look at that craziness. Sledgehammer right into a helmet. Look how it just collapsed Whoa. down. Oh my gosh, feel it. Reach in there. You want to give it a hit? Uh -huh. Lincoln's giving it a go. Uh -oh. oh, wow. Impressive. <laughs> hey, look, I did some damage. Whoa. Honestly, I was surprised that we got through it. You guys are probably going to say, well, yeah, you took a sledgehammer to it. Of course it went through. But still, these things are meant to be super tough. This thing pumps in 10 liters of oxygen during the race, and it filters out brake dust and oil and everything so that those guys can breathe fresh air. Even when you're at the racetrack, you often like smell the brake powder 
you'll get rubber in your hair. I would like to break it down a little bit more so we can just open it up and see what's inside. Yeah, just hit it a couple more times. I don't think you need yeah. saw. Hopefully this is a no saw video. Cut to a music beautiful montage of me destroying this. Whoa! <laughs> Oh man, that was crazy. We beat it up pretty good. Sledgehammer work is not easy. Well, it's easy for people that have muscles and don't sit around filming videos and editing all day and night. So uh, yeah, definitely 2017 resolution workout. <laughs> that hurts. Wow, look at all that came from one helmet. You've got the layer of padding. That's the fire protecting Kevlar. That looks just like the inside of our Bulletproof Vest video. We'll link the um, Bulletproof Vest video in the card up above, but this looks just like it. It's just only one layer. So this is really just the carbon fiber and the plastic layer. And then the second layer is this Kevlar. The third layer is this stuff right here that Lincoln oh. had. It's pretty tough. It's not like your usual styrofoam. You can see right there, this is the model HP7, date of manufacture June 2016. So this is in compliance with the F1 FIA racing standards. All right, there's your visor. Man. Uh, it's pretty cool, I like it, but maybe just get a pro prototype or something Yeah, like you can buy the replicas that are painted. Oh, interesting fact, the race drivers, their helmets are gonna look different than this because they get custom paint on them. And the regulations say that they can only paint it one time a year. So as soon as they come to the first race with their helmet that way. That's gonna be their whole helmet for that's, the whole year. Yeah, the whole year. Let us know, would you guys like us to do another race type video, and if so, what would you like us to cut open? Where would you like us to go? We went to Singapore for this one. We were there doing some live streaming with some other YouTubers. We're going to link to a playlist, and you can go watch the other creators and the videos that they made from Singapore. <laughs>